Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another Big Boaters episode. Um, so today we are at the old uh, Juniata River. Finally get to get on it. Um, last time I was up here with, uh, well, you know, this guy right here, with old Trouty. Um, we were going to fish it, but then uh, it was too high, and it looked like chocolate milk. Not the good chocolate milk. The best chocolate milk shredders. Don't at me. So we uh, fished Sherman's Creek. And, oh, we ripped some smallies out of that one. He even ripped some caddies, and I lost two. So hopefully today I can smash my PB. I'd say it's around 16. Didn't measure it, but I'm guessing. Sometimes I'm not good at guessing. Like, someone asked me, oh, how far is it from here to the tree? I could go five yards. Nope, it's 12. So don't, don't, I'm, I can't judge. So I'm going to say 16, but... Who knows, it was probably 14. But um, we're getting the boat all set up here, ready to launch on this so oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous river. I mean, look at this. Oh, and then the old John boat. Mmm, mint, mint. Look at that we guy. We are gonna smoke some fat bass today. My bass senses are just tingling right now. I All I wanna do today is break Grant's PB. That is my sole goal, and hopefully we can do that. We uh, gotta get the boat set up here, and then we're gonna hit the water and try and rip some smallies. See you all out there. All right, starting out black and blue jig with a creature crawler, black and blue. My one goal today though guys is to show Nathan that the Ned Rig is just all hype and it's all the wacky rig. He's been hyping up this stupid Ned Rig. Dude, you can talk all the trash you want. You can talk all the smash you want. I'm gonna crush this kid on some Ned Rig. He is asking for it. I might have to pull out a Ned Rig here soon. I wasn't even gonna fish one today, but now that he's talking smack, we might have to make this happen. That's a good cast, really good cast. Right in those backwaters, right behind any groups of like submerged trees like that. Come on, Smallies, smoke this. Whoa, nope, that was a big rock. Oh, what? Why? Dude, I never have luck with this rod. Ah, that was the issue. Whew. Well, guys, it hasn't taken long at all. Yep. Yep. Y'all guessed it. We're going to try the wacky rig here and see what I come up with. So far, the jig has struck out. Half ounce jig struck out on me. <laughs> Guys, big winter smallmouth here on a hand tied hair jig. Pretty awesome. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Huge walleye. Huge walleye, dude. Oh my god. Dude, this is dinner if we get this. I've never caught a walleye either out of the river. Dude, this is legendary. I knew it was something big, I had no idea what it was. We've got a big walleye on here, guys. This river can be really good for walleyes, especially this time of year. That's my PB walleye there, guys. This is a huge walleye. It's probably like a four pounder. 
That's awesome. All right, guys, I've been fishing this river for years and I've never caught a walleye. I've seen tons of them. And right here is a giant, giant river walleye. I caught that on a hands hired hair jig that I tied last week. Uh, if you want to watch the video on how to make hair jigs and fish hair jigs, I'll put it in the bio, the link below. And uh, that is just an awesome, awesome fish. So we're going to get a couple of pictures of this girl quick and then get her back in the water and keep trying to fish for some big winter smallmouth bass. Really nice surprise catch here. I'll take it. See you later, girl. Off she goes. Back down to the deep blue. All right, let's get some bass. Nice one. <laughs> All right. Um, now I'm going to try a bigger jig, 3 8 ounce now, I was working the half ounce, but um, Nathan just ripped in a freaking hog of a walleye, I mean hog, and you know us here at Big Booters, when we throw around the term hog, oh you know it's a fish, he had a hog, that was a hog, oh man, what a fish, and I'm still sitting here with zero. Um, Funny thing is, I was using the wacky rig. Nathan hooked the walleye, and I hooked the rock. So I think that's a sign to not use the wacky rig today, and maybe that's what I get for bashing the Ned rig. Hopefully not. But um, so far, I'm being skunked right now. But um, Nathan will show me the ways of smallmouth fishing, unlike largemouth, where I just go and throw the wacky rig all day, every day, you know. So we'll see how it turns out here. Maybe the rattle in this one will um, intrigue some smallmouth. Hopefully. You might actually attract them by making a little bit of noise in the water. Man, that one. Oh! Sorry, yank it out of there. Oh, no! Jeez. Oh, I still got it! Yeah, you've uh, you got like big deal. No, I don't. All right, Jesus. so Jesus. my fingertips are frozen, my hand isn't. My hand, fine. Fingertips, no. They're, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know what I was thinking when I even got these gloves. I thought they'd be the best thing ever. Didn't even think my fingertips would get cold. But, um, I caught zero fish, caught some rocks, uh, lost a jig in a tree, so, I mean, I guess you could say I caught a tree. Uh, backlash my bait caster in the process of trying to get the jig out of the tree. So, I mean, I guess you could say I've had a, uh, eventful day with no fish. Nathan's caught a walleye, and, um, so, um, yeah, we're gonna actually ditch the Juniata, or at least get out of the boat and maybe bank fish the Juniata, or do something, just to try and catch a fish. A fish, notice I said a fish, not lots of fish. We catch a fish, you know, this would be a great day. Great day if we catch a fish, but let's hope we can catch a fish, because so far I'm getting skunked with rocks and trees and losing jigs and backlashing, so. <sighs> right now, I'm just sitting in my gip and not ripping any lips. And I'd like to do the opposite, ripped lips, but you know, sitting in my gip. Let's see what happens as we switch up the game plan. Hopefully you get on some fish, so we'll see what happens. All right, what do you think of your first winter smallmouth outing? <laughs> <sighs> Back at Nathan's house. Very long day of fishing. I got skunked. Nathan caught a walleye. That was it. We, after we got out of the boat, we went bank fished a little bit, nothing. And then we hit up a local creek that actually him and I kayaked down back in August. That we tore up in August. None of us got a bite. Not nothing. Very slow, rough day of fishing. <sighs> That's just how it is sometimes. You know, I've said it before. I'm gonna say it again. We need ice. We need the frigid cold air to just right into Pennsylvania and give us ice so we can get out. We can get out on some ponds, lakes, and ice fish. Ice fish, ice, ice fish, ice fish, ice fish. So yeah, three times fast. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're waiting for now, ice. But um, just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it if you did. Just like and subscribe. And if you subscribe, please hit the bell right next to it. Please. Then that way, whenever we upload a video here at Big Boaters, you're going to know right away. Right away. When that video is uploaded, you're going to get a notification sent to your phone or whatever you're, you have set up that we have uploaded a video. And you can go watch it right away. Never going to miss another Big Boaters video.
So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, rip a lip or send your gift.